Hey guys, um, tonight for dinner I'm going to be making chicken fried steak with this um, beef cube steaks tenderized and then I'm going to be making homemade mashed potatoes and green beans. The mashed potatoes I've got in here, I've already pierced them with a knife so I just got to start boiling them for now. And the green beans, I've got two cans in here. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic salt and pepper one of these um, beef bouillon cubes tastes really good in there and some of these real bacon pieces inside the green beans that makes them taste really good so for the chicken fried steak right now the first step is I'm gonna put garlic salt and pepper on them and then flour and you'll see them what I do next Okay guys, so over here, I've got my green beans boiling. I'm about to turn those down. My potatoes are barely starting to boil, so that'll take a while. I've got my canola oil in the big skillet ready to go. I haven't turned it on yet though. Maybe I should go ahead and turn it on put it on medium and over here I've got all of my chicken fried steaks have salt pepper I mean garlic salt and pepper and I've lightly floured them and here I've got a mixture it's called egg wash I've got an egg with some cream salt and pepper and then I've got my flour over here which I've also put garlic salt and pepper inside the flour and I'm going to be putting them on this pan um, after I coat them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these and I'm just going to put it over here in the egg wash and soak it in. Drain it and then lay it in the flour and press it in and then flip it and then press it in again. If it's still wet on any parts, just flip it again until you've completely coated it. Just pat it on there and then I'm going to set it over here so they're separated. And I'm going to continue that process for each one. I'll show you again with one more here. Just coat it with the egg wash, put it over in the flour, press it in, flip it, make sure both sides are coated fully, and then set it over here on the pan. So I'm going to continue this until they're all coated with the egg wash and flour and then I'll start frying them. Okay guys, so I've got my chicken fried steak double coated over here and it's ready to go in the pan. So here we go with the first one. There it is. And in with the second one. I'm using this big pan so I can cook two at the same time. But we're just going to let those cook for a while and then turn them over. When these two are done, I'm going to take them out, set them on another pan with some paper towels, and just continue until all of them are done. I'll show you look, what they look like when two of them are done so you can see. Okay, I've got the first two. They're done. You can see them over here. I always put them on a paper towel to get the extra grease off. I recommend you do the same, even if it's canola and it's heart healthy. No one wants a greasy chicken fried steak. So I've got the next two in going. Got two more left. My green beans are done. And my potatoes, I poked them with a fork. And they still need a little bit more, but they'll be done by the time all the chicken fried steaks are. 
Okay, so my mashed potatoes are ready to be mashed, or my potatoes are ready to be mashed. I went ahead and drained the water out, and I'm just going to mash them down. And no, I don't peel them off. You can peel them off if you want to. It's going to take longer because you got to let them cool off a bit before you peel them. Some people actually dice them up and boil them already cut, but I feel like they would lose vitamins that way. And also, there's a lot of iron in the peel. They're healthier if you leave them in. So, this is how I do mine. You can do yours any way you want to. But I'm just gonna mash all this up really good. I mean, if you get a big old piece of peel, you can pull them out with your fingers. Okay. Next, I'm going to put some margarine in there, and quite a bit, actually. Put some margarine in there, and some pepper, if I can get it open. Pepper. Some salt. So I'm going to go back in with the masher and mash all that butter around in there, or margarine. And then lastly, I'm going to be putting some cream in there. And then I'm just going to work it in. My last two chicken fried steaks are ready to go in. These are the second two. I'm going to take these out. Lay them over here on my paper towels so they can drain the grease. And then go in with the last two. those four. Last two starting and then after I get this all mixed up I may need a little more cream or butter. I'm going to give it a taste. No, it's good. So I've turned this down all the way low. So I'm going to just put the um, the lid on to keep them warm. Turn the green beans all the way down too. So I'm not making homemade gravy today. I'm going to make one of these country gravy instant packs, which I've already got mixed in here with some water and cream. I'm going to turn that on and get that going. The gravy should be done in a matter of minutes, and once these last two chicken fried steaks get done, our meal will be complete for tonight's dinner. Okay, there you have it. Everybody's plate is served. I went ahead and put gravy on mine because that's how I like it. Um, I'm not sure if they want gravy on theirs. I think they put it on their mashed potatoes and ketchup on the chicken fried steak. Everybody likes it differently, but... There it is. I already know it's going to be delicious, so I'm about to get my grub on. Thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And um, peace. See you on the next one.